shut and we'll make sure that safety alarms working. Yeah, we're all right. Okay. This is this is the office, John Kozad's office. And he's the man that started the town. And his youngest son is Robert Henry Kozad, who had studied in France and changed his middle name from Henry from Henry to Henri. Wife's name on it. Railroad was to get every other section in a checkerboard pattern on eight eight miles each side of the railroad. Okay. So they they when they came on then after the Pony Express. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they got this. They actually got they actually got an eight mile stretch through the state of Nebraska is what they got. People bought that land to settle on okay. for farms and the like, and uh, goes at came out then, and Kozad got 40,000 acres at $2 an acre, mm -hmm. and he was a riverboat gambler, he was a faro dealer, and I guess a very slick one, okay. but he was John Kozad's father, and this is, this is John Kozad, and that's Robert Henry, of course, okay, and this is his mother, Mrs. Gatewood, okay. and then this is his brother Johnny. Now, after about six or seven years here, uh -huh. Mr. Kozad shot a man. Okay. Uh, fairly fell do a duel, I guess, but anyway, he left the country in hopes that he'd <laughs> escape the, the sentence, which he did. Uh -huh. But anyway, after they left here, they changed their name to Mr. and Mrs. Richard H. Lee. Okay. And the boys came and they eventually wound up on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. Oh. They had a, a <laughs> casino on the boardwalk. Wow. Really? Back in the then the started. boys came and lived with them as their nephews. Okay. He as Robert Henry and he as Johnny Southern. But they <laughs> pretended they were their nephews. <laughs> now, John Kozad put up this land for sale to two settlers. Okay. That's the bulletin he put on the wall back in the city of Chicago and, and uh, Ohio to uh, sell this land to people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, they they after they left here, I mean, they did, sold a lot of this land first mm -hmm. before they left. Well, John Cozy had built a wooden hotel down to the railroad tracks. Okay. But then after he left, uh, the, uh, that burned down, and they came up here, and his father-in-law moved out here, who was, uh, uh, oh, just a moment, I'll tell you your name, Gatewood, Mr. and Mrs. Gatewood, her folks moved out here and helped them, mm -hmm. and they built this into a hotel, and they lived here. So this is the, the uh, Henry Hotel, which uh, was uh, later changed, they sold it to a fellow named Hendy. Then we'll start through here. Thank you. Here on the wall, when we were redoing this uh, hotel as a museum, yes, uh, we found a spot where some little boy had written his initials. Oh my. R-H-C. That's it. <laughs> Right it's there, the same Robert R. Henry Kozad. Yes, I recognize that. And so that. we just left, we just left it there on the wall. Oh, that's great. Now you're walking on the same floor that Robert Enright walked on. <laughs> this is the floor. This is the rooms that he got. Now 
I've got a, there's a copy in here of a, of a note, or a, a uh, letter that he wrote to his grandmother, okay. and he drew the pictures of this hotel on it. Ah. And then, <laughs> we're talking about the years in the early 70s and 80s. Okay, 18th. 60s. 18. 1860s. Okay. See, the Civil War was over. Okay. Uh, in 1863. Okay. So then the settlers, when the war ended, they all tried to move west to to get into new territory. Okay. So this is the where they came. And this is the living room of the partial hotel here. Okay. Now you're you're young, too young to think about this as a reality. <laughs> But in order to build a railroad, they had to have men and they had to have horses. Right. So they needed hay for the horses. Okay. So his business was hay to the railroad to move on to Promontory Point, Utah. Oh, there's lots of That's fun souvenirs. We'll have one to take of his famous Navajo paintings. Looks like a Velasquez or something. This is Robert Henry's mother. All right. This is. Gatewood, and this is the shawl that she's wearing in the picture. Oh, really? Then really this is, is this is uh, John Kozad, the father of Robert Henry. Oh, he's young. You can see where he gets his eyes. <laughs> this that is a picture by his son. In fact, oh. really. When John Kozad left here, of course, the law was looking for him. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so his wife was going to go see him, go to him. Well, if she got on the train and went west, they would know he was in Denver. Mm -hmm. If she got on the train and went east, they would know they were in Ohio. So she had hired a man to take a wagon and horses uh -huh. and take her to Elwood over here 18 miles mm -hmm. and put her on the train. <laughs> That's the gun she carried in her fur muff. Huh. <laughs> for protection on the way over. How cool is that? A few years ago, we found this gun buried in a can of wallpaper. The wallpaper wrapped the gun, okay. and the gun was in a lard bucket, buried in the ground, and when we dug it up, that gun came out in just that condition right there. Wow. And these were the kind of guns that were people carried in the top of their boot. Right. They were a gambler's gun, is what they were. Mm -hmm. Now, that, <laughs> I'd like to tell you that's the one that Henry committed the murder with. Mm -hmm. But yeah. he committed the murder mm -hmm. in 1886, and the gun wasn't patented until 1888. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Henry, I mean, uh, John Kozad, mm -hmm. uh, kind of is a self made orphan. He was raised on the Ohio River and the Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. The gamblers raised him. He was. A child of the gamblers, cool. you might say. <laughs> but he always had money. He was always very astute and so on. Nice. Down here on the bottom, I won't bother. I, I, I could thing. see it the other day. But anyway, Robert wrote to his grandmother and put the map of the hotel on there. And we have a, oh, yeah, a woman in here it. that's <laughs> always messing things around. <laughs> so you don't know where it's at, but right. it's in there. Okay, we'll go this way then. Excellent. You can see why they liked him in New York. In too. his last years, yeah, that's... Now that... Who was the star of South Pacific, the woman? Cindy? I don't know. <laughs> um, that gal right there? Anyway, this is her great-grandmother. Oh. This is for Selene, a gypsy girl. And Henry painted her both with clothes and without clothes, I guess. Excellent. By the chance, I would. <laughs> yeah, why not? Especially the latter. <laughs> yeah. I'm normal. Yeah, yeah. Good. Now that before Henry died, in his later years, he moved to Ireland. Oh. And he did his painting in Ireland. Really? Now this is this is a an old farmer and his wife. Okay. Now, they are not Mr. and Mrs., they are himself and herself. <laughs> that's and right. that's the way they did it. This is the island he lived on. It was called Ackle Island. 
Wow, look at this. And that's, that is a Henry. We don't have but very little of pure Henry because a 10 by 12 painting would only be about 60,000 or 70,000 if you could find one. Yeah. Very well, yeah, I bet. Wow. Now, this is a girl in the pink pinafore, which is one of his famous paintings. You took, a, you took a picture of it in the office a while ago. Yeah. The girl in the, in the pink pinafore? The girl in the pink pinafore. Okay, then this is his second wife. His first wife died of cancer, and he married his second wife. She was one of his students. Okay. Marjorie Oregon okay. was her name. Mm. Now, these two little charcoals here are Marjorie's. They are oh. Marjorie's. <laughs> Very good. These are the little sketches like of Robert. These are Henry's. And we've had it checked, and they're supposed to be Henry's, just just doodling, you know. Oh, yeah. Nice. And this is Henry himself. It's a, it's a self-portrait. Oh, How cool. Artist. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. That's I have to great. get the, all these. I'm so glad this you're... picture here, you've probably heard of it. Yes, I have. The streets very, of New York. Very famous. Yeah. Um, I've actually seen that, I think, maybe. Oh, we have to go there. This is just the kitchen. Oh. Robert Henry painted. It's a copy oh. of the Queen of Spain. Oh, Velasquez. <laughs> and it's the Velasquez. Ah. Wow, what a, a copy. It's, it's a copy of a Velasquez. I never made the Velasquez. Henry did you did you just read recently that one magazine I got said that this fellow in New York in some old storage place found a Velasquez? Oh, really? A large one, and they're having it checked out, but it is a Velasquez. That'd be nice. Well, this this is a Velasquez. These are some of Robert Henry's etchings that he just he made. Well, he, is, he sent these to us, and these are signed with Robert Henry's name, of course. Oh, cool. These are all Henry. This set here is all Henry's. Wow. These are his paintings now.